Let's talk about what it takes to be successful in today's economy. A number of years ago, it was 1987 as a matter of fact, my wife and I were attending a Tiger baseball game, a Detroit Tiger baseball game in Detroit, Michigan. It was a sunny Sunday afternoon in May. We were there with a friend of mine. And we were sitting in the cheap seats, about 20 rows back of the left field screen, just far enough back that you could see over the screen and onto the playing field. It's about the third inning of the game, when lo and behold, a little old man, about five foot three, walks over in front of our section and launches into this, this announcement that he wants to get the entire stadium to do the wave. And it sounded, it looked something like this. All right, everyone. We're going to do the wave. That's it. You work with me. We'll get the entire stadium to do the wave. And I'm thinking to myself, what is this? I, I, I stopped doing the wave a long time ago. We don't do this stuff anymore. So anyway, he goes ahead with his routine. He says, all right, just work with me. Here we go. On the count of three. One, a two, a three. And about 13 kids jump out of their chairs, giggle, laugh, do the wave, and sit back down. That's, I'm glad that's over with. This guy figures he's going to walk away. He says, all right, that was a pretty good first try. Now, you work with me, and I'm guaranteeing you we'll get this entire stadium to do the wave. Now, there's about 28,000 people out that day, that day. Tiger was having a pretty good year. And uh, this guy was persistent. I could see that right away. So I quickly elbowed my wife and said, listen, Elizabeth, don't do anything that's going to embarrass us, okay? She looked at me. So this guy goes into his routine two, three times, four times he's into this. And each time I notice it, when he does it, a few more people are standing up and doing this way. It's going a little further each time. So finally, I looked at my wife and said, what are you, a stick in the mud? Let's have some fun. Let's do this wave. So she looks at me and she agrees. <laughs> so next time he does it, we stand up, we do the wave, we start giggling, we start laughing, we're having a good old time. And sure enough, about the eighth or ninth time that this man attempts to get us to get the whole stadium to do the wave, it succeeds. It goes all around the stadium, 360 degrees, comes right back to where he's standing, we're sitting. At that point in time, the entire stadium bursts into this applause that comes right at us. It's like a slap in the face. If you've ever been there where you have a huge crowd that are cheering in your direction, it was like a wave that just swept over the entire stadium. Well, after this, the old man took it all in, smiled, walked away. I said to myself, I gotta meet this guy. So about three innings later, I'm walking through the stands, and there I see him in front of the hot dog stand. He's got a crowd of people. He's got a whole line of kids in front of him. They're in line to get his autograph. Well, I want to meet this guy. So I get in line. I wait till my turn comes to the comes to the front of the line. I shake his hand say, I just had to meet you. I, I saw what you did a couple innings ago. You got this entire stadium to do the wave. My name's Tom. What was yours? He told me his name is Joe Duroff. He said they called him the brow, and I could see why, because as I looked at his face, you could see he had an eyebrow, a very thick eyebrow. Started over here, went all the way across, didn't break. You might call it a unibrow. He said they called him the brow. And he started telling me his life story. He said, you know, I, I used to be a high school teacher, and I retired, and I, I just sat around the house. I started getting a little depressed, and my wife said, well, why don't you, why don't you go to some of these sporting events and cheer the home team. You know, these major major league teams like in football and baseball and basketball. So he started doing that. And he would wear a certain attire. He had, usually have a tie on that would be of the home team. It'd be, in this particular case, it was the, had a tiger on it. So it looked like a tiger tie. And he had this little white hat that he wore, his white shirt. He rolled up the sleeves about halfway. And, and uh, that was his deal. He went on to say, I feel it's so important that when I come to a, an event like this, I get the home team cheering for the, for the, for the players that are on the field because they appreciate it. The, the crowd gets into it. They have more fun, so everybody wins. And I'm crazy enough to do what it takes to make that happen. A light bulb went off in my head when I heard this statement. Here's a guy that knew what he wanted and, do, and did what it took to get those results. Now how about you? How about me? In this economy where we hear so much talk about how poor things are, how bad things are going, if people just took the time to do what it took to reach the goals they really wanted to reach, they'd get there. My challenge to you is to think about the things in your business that you could be doing that you're not doing now, that would get the results that you want to get despite the economy. 
As a matter of fact, because of the economy, you'll get those results if you do what it takes.